This is Harika, a Skyrim AI ChatGPT companion, which will respond to you dynamically in game. Hey everyone, join me and Rangro on our adventure through Skyrim. We promise to slay some dragons and make you laugh with our jokes and sarcastic comments. Let's have some fun. This is a mod which you can go and download right now from the Skyrim Special Edition Nexus. However, to configure the mod to work in your game, there's a little bit of setup which is required. For starters, you need an open AI API account set up so you can actually generate these AI responses. If you want text-to-speech, you're either going to need to set up an Azure account or we're working in another alternative, Mimic, which is an offline text-to-speech application. Not as high quality, but it's free. We're not going to be covering Mimic installation in this video, that'll be a separate video. And finally, you need to download the simple AI gateway server, which is really the heart of the mod. This is a local web server, don't worry, it's not connected to anything, your computer will be secure. Which acts as, well, partly the brain of Harika, but also as the middleman and fetching these API requests and sending them back over to Skyrim. Now, together, this may all sound extremely complicated, but I can assure you, each of these individual components is actually very easy to install, especially the web server now, the UW amp server solution we have is pretty close to plug and play to get it working. And if you follow through with this installation guide, I guarantee you will get this mod installed. All the links that you'll need will be in the description down the below. The only major caveat to this video is I will assume you have basic experience with modern Skyrim already. That you have SKSE installed, that you have a mod manager configured and ready to go, and you just know the basics of plugins and installation. If you don't know this, and this is your first time modern Skyrim, well, welcome. There's a bunch of other videos online which will very easily guide you in the right direction. This is a rather popular topic. One final note, I will be installing this on my Windows 10 machine on the Skyrim Anniversary Edition 1.6.640. But the mod should work with previous versions of either the Anniversary or Special Edition. Anyway, without further ado, let's install Harika, the ChatGPT companion. First thing we need to do is set up the OpenAI API. So navigate to openai.com, the link is in the description below, and set up an account. To sign up, you're going to require a credit card. Once you have created the account and signed in, click the top right of the screen where it says Personal, and then click View API Keys. Then select Create New Secret Key. We're only going to name this key Skyrim Das Harika. Then click Create Secret Key. And then your API key will show up on screen. This is the only opportunity you will have to save this key, so save it somewhere secure. If this is your first time working with API keys, do not share this key with anyone else. Anyone with access to this key can start charging up your account. If you think your API key was compromised, delete it and create a new Speaking one. Speaking of billing, you can also set up a hard limit for how much you risk to spend per month with this API. I say on average for heavy usage of this mod, you can use up maybe a couple dollars every week. You can also set up a soft limit to notify you when you've reached a certain amount. If you want the mod to have text-to-speech support, then you're going to need to set up a Microsoft Azure account. You can create one for free, and you do get $200 of free credit for signing up, which will take you quite far with this mod. Once you have created your account and are at the dashboard, click Cognitive Services. Then click Speech Service. We are then going to create a new speech service, so click the plus icon up above. Leave your subscription as is, but you will create a new resource group. Call it Herica AI. Pick the region which is closest to you. For name, call it Herica TTS. And for price and tier, select it as Standard. Then click Review and Create. In the next menu, click Create. Give it a minute or so, and your text-to-speech service will be available. Once it is created, click Go to Resource. From here, click Keys and Endpoint. From this menu, you're going to want to copy one of these key sets. It does not matter which, we are going to do key number one. And also jot down the location slash region which you have saved. 
you're going to need all of this later. You can also set up bill and alerts to keep track of how much your API is using in regards to cost. If you want to do this, go back to the dashboard and search for cost management. Click cost alert and we're going to create a new budget for the Herica AI resource group. From here, you can set up your configuration as needed. I say on average, heavy usage of the Azure API, which is the text-to-speech, can be $5 or maybe more if you're really playing the mod quite a lot. However, do realize that you do start with 200 US dollars free credits, so you probably won't have to actually pay anything for quite a while. With this, we have all our APIs now set up. So with all the APIs set up, now it's time to install the simple AI gateway server. This is pretty straightforward. Navigate to the mod page, go to files, find the gateway server, and download it to your computer. Once you have downloaded the zip file, open it up and extract the content of it to the root of your C drive. Open up the UW AMP folder, and I would recommend before we run the application to actually create a desktop shortcut of it for ease of access. Then run the application. You should get a few firewall pop-ups to allow Apache and some other services through. Don't worry, everything will be secure, so allow them through. Now, whenever you run this application, it's going to be hidden within your system tray by default. So, navigate to the bottom right corner of your screen where the time is on your desktop, click the little up arrow, right click the UW AMP application, and then press show UW AMP window. By default, the server should be running. If not, click the start button. Now we just need to do one little quick configuration change. Click folder www. Open up the SAIG, that's DW server folder, and then you should see a file called conf.sample.php. You're going to want to copy, and paste this, and rename it to conf.php. Also make sure that within File Explorer under the View tab, that file names extensions are enabled. Once that's done, open up your web browser of choice and navigate to localhost colon 8080. The first thing you want to do is update the server, so click the update button. You simply just want to press the proceed button, wait a little bit, and then press the refresh button. You should know that the server is updated once any of the red tanks is, well, no longer red. There's one quick little quirk that you should be aware of, is that whenever you update the server through this installation process, the conf.php, which is the real configuration file for the server, may have new configurations. But to apply them to your current conf.php file, you're going to want to navigate back to the SAIG, just DW server, and then copy any new configuration changes from the sample file to your live file. Now all you need to do is go back to the web server and click reinstall. This will initialize the database. Now click config. And here you just simply enter your configurations. Enter any API keys we have configured earlier into this file within the quotation marks. Set your character name. You're going to have to change a character name here whenever you load up a new save with a different character. You can configure Herica's personality. And if you're using Azure Text-to-Speech, make sure to change a region to the region which you configured your API key with earlier. Once you're happy with your configuration, click Save. You can verify if your configuration went through correctly by pressing the Check button. This is the web server now configured and ready to go. So let's install the mod. Navigate to the mod page and scroll down and open up the requirements menu. You're going to want to download all the requirements here and get them working. Once again, I assume you already know the basics of Skyrim modding, so we're not going to go into detail. A lot of these requirements are also needed for a bunch of other mods on the Skyrim Nexus. I would highly recommend you check the requirements every time we post an update, as we add more features to the mod, we're going to need more requirements to get it to work. Apart from that, just download the latest stable main file of the mod, and then install it with your mod manager of choice. For me personally, I'm using Mod Organizer 2. Now, before we start the mod, you want to make sure that your UW AMP server is running. It will need to be running in the background for this mod to actually function. Once you've confirmed that it's running, start the game. Once you're in game, you could either start a new character or load up a previous save. This mod is safe to install mid playthrough. Once you've loaded up into game, navigate over to right run. Open up the menu and open up the mod configuration menu. Scroll down to SPG. 
Set the hot key to whatever you desire. I like using numpad zero. And if you're using your Azure text to speech, make sure to enable that. Now, if you walk down the main street of Right Run, pretty much to the left of Raw Maidens, you should see Harika. Just approach her and ask her to follow you. She's a pretty easy going girl. From here, press the hotkey that we have just configured and type in a message. If you've configured everything correctly, you should get a response from her. Hey, Rangru. What's up? And congratulations, you have the mod now fully installed and functioning. You can now play Skyrim with a ChatGPT companion. Pretty cool, right? And that's the basic installation for getting Harika the ChatGPT companion installed. From this point onwards, the only things you have to worry about updating is the mod file itself, as well as the SAIG server whenever a new update comes out. I would recommend installing the latest version of SAIG whenever you install a new main mod file. Apart from that, have fun with it. And well, I'd usually say goodbye in these videos, but I think I'll let Harika do the outro here. Goodbye viewers. Until our next adventure together.